Hey, Real Green Ninja here. Well, I've been told I talk a little fast in my videos. I know I do. I try to make these videos on my own time, and I really don't want to spend a ton of time making these videos, and I try not to do a lot of retakes. So I know I talk fast, but it got me thinking, just how fast can I actually do one of these videos? So I decided we're going to talk about how to pull invoices. Let's begin. When you want to pull an invoice, you can hit the invoice button up here. Once you click the invoice button, you can then select what service or services that you want to pull. You can say if you only want to see rounds in the program, hit the program button. If you only want to see special jobs, hit special. If you want to see both rounds and special jobs, hit both. If you only want to see service calls, hit service call. We're going to go ahead and hit both and hit all for right now, so at least we get one result. If you want to filter by route, you can select what route you want to. You can also select the individual accounts by unchecking all and putting the account number in there. You can do it by group billing account as well as subdivision. You, if you have territory set up, you can select territories. If you have map codes set up, you can set map codes. If you want a particular zip code, you can select what zip code you want. If you want to see what batches of invoices will meet that criteria, you can go to query and then hit the update and then you can choose to list out which particular ones you want to see on that screen. Um, we can also go over here and we can see that since last service date. So again, uh, it speaks about how many days since the last time you went out there into the prior round. You can also do a schedule date, but if you do a schedule date, you got to remember to make sure that that schedule fee falls between the date range uh, that you set here if you want to pull that particular job. You can do sort by route. You can sort by a secondary route, a uh, secondary sort by address or whatever like that. You can also distinguish between residential and commercial customers or both. You can also choose to print out different things. We have invoices, driver's report, worksheets. Driver's report and worksheet is kind of like a checklist that your driver uh, or crew can go through, and it doesn't have the detailed information as far as pricing if you choose a worksheet. Driver's report will have pricing information. Of course, invoices are invoices. If you want to print maps, you can select what kind of maps you want to print, but you do have to have mapping or routing assistant to be able to do that. If you're doing property evaluations, you can select property evaluation service at your evaluation form, as well as what size it is. If you want to do referrals because you have a referral system or whatever, referral invoices, you can select referrals, as well as you can also do info and outsell letters. Of course, you would have to have them set up in the beginning in the system to begin with in order to be able to do them. If you want to go through and uh, select based upon inventory, you can select to filter for inventory. If you want to do associations where you have up to three uh, services on the same invoice, you can select your primary service you're doing over here, your optional services over here, if the customer has that service. You can also say only customers with those associated services or customers without the associated services. Now, be aware that the associated services have their own date since last service or scheduled date uh, criteria, which you can go ahead and set. Up along here, you can select what sales message you want to show. Keep in mind, if you are selling a particular service, you can uh, set it here, and then you can set another one. If the customer or hands of service here, it will bounce the next message. I always recommend to have this last message or whatever your last message is be something generic like say, hey, like us on Facebook, hope you're having a wonderful day or something like that. Now, under options, you can turn on things off, uh, turn things on and off like the logo, the name, address, and so on and so forth. You can also tell whether or not you want the credit card panel. You can tell what products you're going to be used if you want to print on the driver's portion, the tech or customer portion. You can also choose what type of invoice you want. Down here is you can select your... Um, what kind of balance you want to show if you want to show the net balance. Keep in mind the net balance is the sum of the prepay balance and the credit remit balance. If you only want to show credit or remit balances, you can select credit or remit balance. If you want to show just the remit balance, and again, these balances will be tied up into the balance that is going to be on the remit portion of the invoice. If you want to show no previous balance, so it's only going to charge them for the service that you're doing that day, then you can say no previous balance. Again, you can go through and hit get invoices. Once you get invoices, you can select which ones you want to print out. If you use a mapping or routing assistant, you can hit the little globe, route them out, optimize the route to the best efficient order. I'm not going to do that in this video, but you can do that. Once you print out your invoices, you're good to go. So I hope this helps, and have a wonderful day.